Hey developers, today I'm going to show you five VS Code themes that you should be looking at. So I have been scouring the internet, looking at different themes. I'm always changing up my VS Code, trying to look at some things that I think are cool. I want to share that with you today. I want to see what you guys think. So in the comments below, I want everyone who listens to this video, leave a comment and let me know the VS Code theme that you guys love. And uh, I'll pick a few random ones and I'll check them out and in a future video I'll talk about it. So stay tuned, make sure you watch all the way to the end so you can learn all about these themes. So Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book, which as always, I put a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. So without further ado, let's talk about Visual Studio Code, VS Code. As you guys may know it, I have right here on my screen, I have some bookmarks at the top. I'll make sure to put the link to all these in the description below. I think some of these come with VS Code now. Some you might have to download after the fact. But uh, so here is the first one I'm gonna talk to, and this is um, these, I really, this is like number five for me. So winter is coming thing. This is the one I've used for a long time. It's created by John Papa, which uh, he's a great developer and does a lot of stuff with Microsoft and Angular. And here is, he has two, there's two parts of this theme. It's the dark theme and a light theme. And the one I like to use is this light theme here. So you can see it's very simple looking. I like the color scheme in it. Depends, some developers don't like the light theme. Uh, I happen to like it. And you know, I think it's really simple. I like the colors. It doesn't hurt my eyes at all. But I think this is just really perfect for a simple to use VS Code theme. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So number four is Space Max Dark Theme. So every other VS Code theme I'm going to talk about today are all dark themes except for the winter is coming. I don't know. Maybe it's just I like dark themes. It kind of makes a lot of sense to me. So if I'm in VS Code, I'm going to open up the command bar here and just do preferences color themes. You can see I have installed quite a few of them. So I'm going to find the space max one, which is down here. Uh, so here's this. This is what this one looks like. Um, I'll reopen up HTML. See, it kind of has a, a little bit darker theme. Um, purple for some of these names here. I don't know. I think this looks cool. It's really simple to use. It's better than the default theme. Has this purple at the top. I don't know. I think I, I like the colors here. Makes a lot of sense. You can also definitely, if you get more interested in themes, you can change. Uh, you can add ligatures, you can diff do different fonts, you can change it all around, but I think just for a simple theme, this works really well for me. And you can see here that it doesn't have much information. It says Robert Kwan. I don't know, it doesn't get many downloads, but I, I like it. The third one is called Dracula. So it's it looks similar to the last one I did, but a little different. So I'm gonna open up um, uh, my color themes again. And I'm gonna look for Dracula. Yeah, you can see here, uh, we don't have the big purple tabs anymore. Uh, it's kind of the, the this light purple text here, yellow for the links, um, <laughs> kind of Dracula looking, I guess you could say. Let's see what it says here in the app. It has over 9,658 stars on GitHub, 867 forks. It's pretty popular, uh, a lot of contributors. So if we go, let's look at a little bit closer to it. Um, let's, let me go to the right link here. Where is it? So we can click here, the Dracula theme here. So it looks like it's being maintained a lot. It's a dark theme with um, a dark theme. You can actually get it for Adam and a bunch of different text editors, including VS Code. And here's the different color hex for the colors, the background, current line selection. And I, I like this as a little funny fact right here. Are you going to create a light color scheme? Nope, Dracula can't stand the light. <laughs> so uh, obviously it's gonna be a dark theme, it's Dracula. Are you gonna support Editor X? We hope so. How do we submit a new theme, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so I, re I really like this. It's it's pretty popular, It's it's really well done. 
Um, I like this kind of white and 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 uh, dark text here. Uh, it looks really clean. I like it. All right, so let's keep moving on with our VS Code editors. So in number two is one called Andromeda. And you can see here, it's another popular one. Popular one. Uh, that it has already 36,000 downloads. Let's see, you can open it up in GitHub. It's taken a little open up in here. Uh, yeah, you can see it doesn't have uh, 32 commits, so it has active commits. It only has a 61 stars, but you know, I like it. Let's take a look. So we'll look at Andromeda. And they have a few of them. There's Andromeda bordered, colorized, italic, italic border. So here's the basic one. It's gonna have this yellow text here. I really like this green. I think it really pops really well. Um, just looks really slick, I think. This red text for for the tag names. I think that looks great. Let's see what the, if we go back to color themes, you can see if you do the border, you know, the slight differences when you change these. Colorized, kind of change the background a little bit. Italics, and let's see here, what else do we have? Italic bordered, I don't know, there might be some slight changes between the, those, all those. But for the most part, uh, yeah, it looks great. You know, I really like this Andromeda. And once again, I'll make sure I put a link to the description in all the different versions. All right, so the number one theme I wanna show you guys is this one, Synthwave 84. And the reason I like this one, I'll show you. So if we go in here, well, let's take a look at the GitHub first. So it's a VS Code theme. This purple theme is really popular. Do you remember the Endless Summers back in 84, cruising down the ocean highway with a top down, the wind in your hair and head buzzing with neon dreams? No, I don't remember it either, but this experimental theme, we can go there. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. Uh, the color theme is influenced by the music and the cover artwork of modern synthwave bands like FM84, Time Cop 1983, and The Midnight. I have never heard of any of those bands or what those are, but if you guys know, leave a comment below, let me know. And you can see it has this weird glow, so I'll show you how that works. Uh, once again, it's pretty popular. Um, it has, let's see, only it has uh, 3,249 3, stars. It's being actively maintained. They have a f uh, quite a few commits. There's some issues in there. It's created by Rob Owen. So let's take a look at it inside the editor here. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn on Synthwave 84. And you can see right now, and this is a common thing, you'll be like, well, this looks a little different. This looks great. But in the screenshot, if you go back to Synthwave 84, you have this glow. So you actually have to do something special. To enable the glow, you have to create this custom CSS file and, and add it to your settings.json. And then you have to enable the custom CSS and JS extension to get it working. Uh, so you see here, this looks, this is the synth way without the glow. But if we add the glow, what we do is we enable custom CSS and JavaScript. And it gives us uh, a message that we need to restart. And it says, by the way, if you get a message that's corrupted, just ignore it. Yeah, just ignore that. See, it says your code installation appears to be correct. Yet, since it's kind of, uh, it's it, this message only appears when, when you switch the theme. So you could just ignore this message. It is kind of funny that you get it. But now you get the glow. So I don't know if you guys can see a little bit better. You can see this This is, uh, you can have the glows with the, with the title and HTML, so everything's glowing a little bit and just makes it a little bit nicer and it's a pretty cool theme. And I've had a lot of people ask me when I've done tutorials on this channel what this theme is, so here you go. It's Synthwave, Synthwave 84 and make sure you turn on the glow to make it even that much cooler. So you can see here these all these parsons is glowing, the format prints. And then I have ligatures turned on, so ligatures is a way, like if I do triple equal, not equal equal. Um, by the way, you can turn that on too. I believe it's in, it's a, I believe it's a, you have to turn it on in the settings somewhere. If you guys know, I think it's in the, let's see here. If we look through here, uh, lig, yeah, editor font ligatures. So I'm using Fira code as my font and then I turn font ligatures on. 
So I think that adds a little bit more. So that's why uh, this font is all fire coda. And then I can do the, the ligatures like that. So I think that adds just a little bit more, makes it a little bit of a cooler editor. I think people, when they see this, are like, wow, that looks really neat with the glow. And uh, that that's definitely, I, th I think this is pretty neat. It, it's definitely experimental. You still get that corrupted error when you change the theme, but I haven't had any problems other than that. So yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, you know, make sure you leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of Synthwave 84. I think it's well worth checking out. And also let me know which one you guys think is the best. Uh, leave a comment below on that too. I think I'll be doing more of these VS Code videos. People seem to love them. Anytime I mention kind of tricks or hacks or neat stuff in VS Code. So um, I think maybe next time I'll do some more plugins. People like that. And more trick tips and tricks. Like for example, I have the Vim plugin in. So I can quickly highlight things and, and change things. I don't know if you guys ever want to know how to do this in VS Code. Like I could take this whole block right here and and, and uh, change values on it. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do, but uh, I, I really uh, appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Thanks.